Hey guys, Crown Jewel 602 and I'm coming to you guys today with my September favorites. It's the uh, 4th of September today, so I'm a little late, but I just recently recorded, what did I record yesterday? Um, oh, the AliExpress review video. So I was in another recording mood. I have a few off days while I'm looking for a job in my profession still. And anyway, I'm recording. It's my favorites. Let's get right to it. A lot of stuff to show you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you here is this Sephora brand. Um, I don't know if I've shown this to you guys before, but anyway, it's the Sephora brand Supreme Cleansing um, Foam. It's an all-in-one cleanser. And I got this on clearance at Sephora in their little sales section. Not clearance, but in their sales section um, for like $6. And it's got a little pump on it, and it literally like... Um, just sort of foams out like that and I just use it just like as you can see here on a makeup removing wipe and it just takes all of your mascara and all of those um, hard to remove um, either gel liners or liquid liners or whatever off and I've been using like this is my nightly routine um, it's just in my nightly routine like I said you get um, five fluid ounces and I purchased I want to say I purchased this around May um, and I still have, I'm feeling it, you can't see through it, but I, from the feel, I have about that much left. So, um, I looked on the Sephora website, and I want to say this regularly retails um, around $15.99. I don't know if I would pay that when I know that I could probably find some sort of drugstore brand foaming cleanser for around $7. So anyway, there's that. The next thing is a heat protecting spray. I love the Silk Elements heat protecting spray. And it just so happened when I went in there, they had an olive one. So this one is just like the other one that I've shown you guys before, except for it's in a green package because it has olive oil in it. And it just smells better. Um, I don't know if it works better. I kind of feel like I like the other one better. But I thought that it would work better because it had the olive in it. But I feel like um because my flat iron when it's too hot I can smell it and it smells like burnt hair obviously and I smell that smell a little more with this so I think the oils in this might not be the best thing but um it's still one of my favorites because I do love the silk elements heat protection um brand line as a whole okay so one of the next thing I'm going to show you I got from um what's it called uh, big lots is usually where I get a lot of my makeup removing wipes or um, Burlington coat factory because they're like a dollar or dollar fifty and these were a dollar and I just wanted to try them out I've seen them in um, Sephora and a few other places and it's the so fresh so clean brand you guys have seen the little splash pattern and you get 25 cleansing wipes in this little pack and it's just a little flap and like I said, it was a buck, so it was cool just to try these for a dollar. And these are the ones I'm currently using right now. I don't get any burning with these. I don't get any problems. I feel like it removes my makeup really, really well. Um, I did like those other ones that I showed a couple favorites back with the uh, Lang Lang in it or whatever. Um, but I could only find those at Burlington. And um, I can't even find those online. I don't even know. Oh, I can't even remember what brand. I'd have to reference the video. But these are pretty cool for right now. And on backup, I have my just standard issue um, ones that I pay two bucks for that I usually get from um, Big Lots. So anyway, but yeah, right now I've been loving these, using these. I'm going to use these up because I don't get any burning no matter how much I rub my eyes. And yes, girls, I rub my eyes. I know I'm not supposed to. So, um, one of the next things I'm going to show you guys is actually, if you guys can tell, I have contacts in. Um, I always wear contacts, but um, I used to, back in the day, if you see my old videos, I used to wear color contacts. I went from freaking gray to blue to green to rare, rarely did I wear hazel. I picked hazel because um, I used the, um, what's that brand? AccuView, yeah, I used the AccuView brand, and they had the optics, and it was straight like the Cullen Twilight looking eyes, and that's what I wanted for the Lil Wayne Drake concert, um, but those were $70 for a box, and so I ended up just getting the Fresh Look um, Color Blends and Pure Hazel, and um, I, the prescription, you know, because I can't see, but I don't know if this, my, um, here we go. So that's what it looks like. So it is hazel, but it does have a little gray. 
in it. Yeah, it's a hazel with a gray outer rim. And so, you know, I'm just going to wear these until they're done, obviously. And then I'll go back to probably my clear ones. I don't know if I'm going to try any more colors. Um, sometimes I just get bored. So anyway, yeah. Um, I get a lot of compliments. Like, I got a, com a lot of compliments at work yesterday on these. Just how sort of fierce they look. So that was pretty cool. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Sally Hansen Diamond Shine um, No Chip Nail Color. Now, my nails are chipped. They do look sort of gross, but I have traveled to freaking Indiana with these nails. I worked hard at my job yesterday in these nails, and my, no nail color lasts at my work. I work at an auto parts store currently right now. Um, not in my profession yet, sad face. But um, no nail polish ever lasts at my job like this. So just for the fact that it's just chipped around the edges is like a real big deal for me. And um, I put this on about two days before um, I even went on my trip back home. And um, shout out Evansville, Indiana. That's where I'm from. And um, I just, I know it's this is the difference because I use um, I've used all these nail polishes on the wall I've used different top coats and when I use this one um, it actually was like on clearance at Rite Aid it made the difference so yeah if you guys haven't tried the little Sally Hansen diamond strength new chip and it has a little diamond jewel in the middle um, this one is really really nice okay so the next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is something I ran upon at Big Lots and it was only two dollars and I thought okay I'll try it and it's actually leaking right now and I think it's because it's so hot in the studio it's the one room in the house that's not air conditioned and it's on the second floor and it's probably if I had to guess I would say at least 90 degrees outside right now um, but it's called the Pro Dazzling White Professional Strength um, whitening pin and it's just the you've seen one you've seen them all it's just a click up pin and I, what I do is I use this in the morning, um, be, like after my coffee, because um, I drink my coffee as I'm getting my, put my makeup on before work, and then, um, like, so after my coffee, before I'm out the door, and then before I go to sleep, because I feel like it'll just stay um, better, and I have seen a nice white difference, and it was only two bucks. So when I get out to Rite Aid again, because it's not expired, a lot of times, uh, not Rite Aid, um, Big Lots. A lot of times when you get to Big Lots, things are like expired or close to expiration, but this is actually not expired till 2015. So that's pretty cool. And like I said, it was only $2 for these pins. The only thing is, is that it might be there this week and then it might not be there ever again. So when you see stuff and you like it there, you got to scoop it up. Okay, something that I've shown you guys in my favorites videos before that I'm showing again is this simple um, sensitive skin revitalizing eye roll. When I've had a night of like late night or drinking or whatever and it's just like a quick turnaround of I've slept. Um, I stayed up late and up early to get to work the next morning. I use this bad boy on my eyes and it is, it just freaking, you can feel it. It does give a little burn and then it gives a little intenseness, but, um, it just says vitamin goodness to the eyes. I love it. It's money. And then I actually went back to this cause I wasn't seeing a difference in it and I stopped using it and then I just started back just like, okay, I guess I'll just use this up cause you know, you have products you want to use them. And it's the L'Oreal um, Youth Code Eye Cream. And it's in a little thing like this. It says L'Oreal Youth Code on it. And it has the little metal um, roller thing on it. It's kind of weird how it comes out um, of the roller thing. I really just kind of put it on my finger and put it on. But I do see a difference in the morning when I use this. So um, I got this on clearance for like $2 from um, I think Walgreens when they stopped carrying this product. I don't know if you can find it anywhere anymore. But I've been loving it. Been using it. So uh, with my points from work since I'm top seller like every single month I've actually just stopped trying I'm not trying to be conceited or anything but I'm just really trying to move on from a advanced auto parts I am uh, an accounting graduate and I want to be in it at least an accounting field or something professional um, so with the last little points that I earned from them I got on the website and I got a living it's by living source I've never heard of this brand and it's the pomegranate concentrated serum it's deep penetrating um, nighttime serum and I was honestly looking for just a nighttime serum for my face and it says it minimizes the appearance of pores and redness I don't 
don't have a problem with redness and I really didn't have a problem with pores but it says it leaves your skin smooth and matte well actually honestly what I've seen in this product and it comes in a little bottle like this which my daughter literally thinks is a bottle we fight over her picking this up all the time and um, you get one fluid ounce I don't know what the retail price is because you get points on the website but it comes in a little dropper so I usually take about that much if you can see how much that is in the dropper and then I sprinkle it over my face I rub it in and I rub it into my neck and it's what I've seen is that it's brightening my face a lot it's making my face look um, youthful renewed and brightened um, just great it's doing what my uh, Freeman mask that papaya enzyme mask um, was doing when I first got it and um, I'm, I'm just been loving this product I don't know how much it costs I don't even know where you can purchase living source I got this off of the advanced rewards website for you know the points and everything so um, yeah this um, is actually the L'Oreal it's called a lacquer liner it's a 24-hour L'Oreal infallible lacquer liner and of course it's in black it's black um, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Now, I thought that this was the one that everyone raves about, but then I kind of got at home and I was like, well, maybe it was the Maybelline Eye Studio one that everyone has that they love. And I was just like, mm. I had a coupon and, and, um, and it was really cheap and I had some Rite Aid uh, points or whatever they do. And I was just like, maybe I'm going to take it back and get another one. Because the minute I saw lacquer, I thought shiny finish. Um, but it doesn't have a shiny finish and this product is so nice it's so nice it's so nice to work with it's great it's freaking phenomenal I love it it's it's like if you put it on and it's on there and I thought the worst case scenario if it was shiny that I would go over it um, with just a regular um, liner which I should show you guys because it's definitely in my favorites and it's the Milani true black and it's just a pencil liner like it's a freaking old school style sharpen it pencil liner but this thing is great like I use it in my waterline I actually used it on the top today instead of this it's soft enough that like you can use it on the top you can smoke it you can smudge it you can use it on the bottom it will not budge it's not gonna run leak or anything it and I got this it was on clearance like you know every now and then CVS um, will clearance out their old stuff and this thing was on clearance for like two dollars and it's just a regular Milani eye pencil and it's like a cold pencil and it's in black is black and I love it it's great and the, the lacquer liner is not shiny it says lacquer but it's not shiny and it is 24 hour like it says well when they say 24 hour they mean it's not gonna budge all day who's wearing their makeup 24 hour besides like hookers I guess anyway um okay just a couple of other products we're gonna run through really fast I just did an AliExpress brush review and actually one of the brushes that I forgot to show in that video is this brush. I'm going to show it to you really, really fast. It's a knockoff of the NARS brush and um, I actually really, really like this brush. I use it to um, just sort of buff out my face and everything, when, especially when I've got too harsh of a contour or when I just want to um, maybe put some highlight powder on or some things like that on my face. That's what I use this for. It's great. It's greatly constructed. And I really, really like that. Um, so I didn't show this one in the video, but yeah, I got this one for like $3. And it's, you know, it looks like that NARS brush that everyone loves. Two brushes from that video that are in my favorites is the Real Techniques Faux Brushes. This one is a contour one love it I mean the head is great it's dense it's just great for contouring um, I use it today I'm using it every day it's just great and this one is the best powder brush that I've ever used in my life it's so soft it's so wonderful it just buffs in the powder great it's great it's just a great product I love it um oh Here's a couple other brushes from that actual review. This one is the one that says 222 on it, and it's the one that's sort of a taper crease blending brush. And this one is a little bit more flat, and it's the one that says 217 on it. Both of these are great for blending. I use this one more for blending out the upper crease area, and I use this one more as a crease brush. And this one is staying more amazingly white, um, because I guess I just go after placing color and blend, whereas I use this one with color um okay 
so something you've seen before and I'm just sad because I'm, I'm like nearly hitting pan on it is the Iman um, cover it's a second to none cover cream and it is my daily concealer I'm wearing it today it is my um, exact skin match at least for right now um, I don't know about in the winter but it looks like this and it, it melts because it gets so hot in here and um, but yeah I've nearly hit that pan in the middle there so I'm sad and my color is clay medium deep I got this from Clarence at Ulta because my Ulta discontinued um, all their Iman products and it was like normally it retails for like $16 and I got it for like seven and um, yeah I probably I, I would I would probably search this product out if it was cheap enough and meaning inexpensive enough but um, I have so many other concealers that I need to go through that, that I know that match my skin that I probably won't repurchase this for a while okay last couple products I'm going to show you you've seen this one before it's the uh, Bahama Mama by the bomb bronzer I was on the fence about it um, I just basically figured out how to work it it's more or less a uh, understated contour for me it's not a bronzer at all um, if you're a brown skin girl that's my skin tone or darker it's not a bronzer at all even a little bit lighter than me it's not a bronzer it is going to be a subtle 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 contour I used it today and see it's just a subtle contour it's your contour amped up times maybe two and that's it that's all you're getting out of this so it's just it's you when you want to be as sort of natural fake your natural there we go last thing I'm going to show you um, is the sleep by three um, it's in flame I think yep and the actual blush that I just use over and over again is this one here, which is Molten. I'm wearing it today. It's just one of those great everyday colors that looks great. I don't want to blind you guys. That looks great on the face. And, um, yeah. Oh, oh my God. How could I um, get out of this video without showing you this one last product? And it's one of those L'Oreal um, Extraordinaire, whatever. It has Extraordinaire in it can't think of the full name but this is what the packaging looks like you guys have seen it in the drugstore this is what the applicator looks like I'm not wearing it today but this thing is great like it's got great color payoff great feel great pigmentation great staying power great 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 all the way around price point at Rite Aid is $9.99 I paid it was 40% off then I had a $3 off coupon then I had two Rite Aid bucks and I ended up paying like $2 or a or dollar something like that for it so yeah so anyway, that's my favorites video. Those are my favorites for the month of September. I'm so excited. Um, I'm kind of sad that summer's coming to an end, but then I'm kind of happy because I get to go back into winter and try to revamp my body all over again and maybe come out better next year because I'm still big and I want to be small and I'm just so sick of being a fat girl. So anyway, guys, um, until next time, stay beautiful. Peace, YouTube.